Yolo County DA just confirming in the last 10 minutes the suspect is from Oakland and last attended Laney College. These three stabbings, two of them homicides in less than one week, set off a manhunt and struck fear into this college town. This afternoon, the chief calling the community resilient as he announced an arrest. The individual believed to be responsible for these horrific, brutal attacks is no longer free to terrorize our community. The Davis mayor and police chief announcing the arrest of a suspect connected to the serial stabbings that killed two people, injured another, and shook the city. These crimes were horrific. They're hard to imagine. They struck fear in the community, and we know that. Police Chief Darren Pytel identified the suspect as 21-year-old Carlos Dominguez, who officials believe is originally from Oakland. He was a student at UCD up until last week. He's been here for a couple of years, and we're still gathering other background information on him at this point. Officials say they received 15 calls Wednesday from members of the public who all said they spotted a man matching the suspect description wearing the same clothes from the most recent attack on Monday. This is helicopter video showing police detaining the alleged suspect near the park where the second murder occurred. I'm hoping that this is the person and that Davis can kind of be done with this and that we are safe again. I also commend the people of Davis who worked together to keep each other safe and supported and who shared tips and critical information to help crack this case. After reviewing evidence and interviewing Dominguez, detectives placed him under arrest today. The evidence includes a large hunting knife. He was uh, wearing a backpack and in, in the backpack was a, a large knife that was consistent with one that we were looking for based on evidence from the first homicide. The chief said they believe they have evidence linking the suspect to all three crimes. He is facing two counts of homicide for the killings of David Burrow and Karim Abu Najim and the attempted murder of a homeless woman named Kimberly on Monday. She remains in the hospital. These horrific crimes have resulted in immeasurable loss to the victim's families and friends and to our community. But as we move forward together, it also demonstrates Davis has compassion, a deep sense of community when faced with tragedy. Officials say Dominguez could be arraigned as early as Monday. This afternoon, UC Davis released a statement saying Dominguez was in his third year until April 25th when he was separated for academic reasons. Alex. And Greg, obviously, we, we know that over the past week, the, the campus there, the UC Davis campus, has really been rattled by all this. The school has uh, taken measures to, to increase security. They've shifted to online classes here. Uh, what, what does this arrest mean for, for the UC Davis community? Yeah, just to give you a sense of how much relief this campus is feeling this afternoon, the chancellor a short time ago announcing to reporters that all classes will resume in person on Monday. All right, good to hear, Greg.